Hello beautiful people, this video is part of the Cozy Winter Challenge that I have the pleasure to host. There is a link to the playlist with the other videos in the description, so please do check them out and if you'd like to support my channel, have a look at the links below and also please do subscribe, like and comment because this helps me a lot. Thank you and enjoy! Alright, so you guys saw what we're dealing with. This is a very old buffet. It is in a terrible state and I wish I actually looked at it more thoroughly before I bought it because it's got lots of issues. Those two huge cracks on the side and there's a missing bit of hardware that I need to address somehow. So I paid for this 40 pounds on Facebook Marketplace which is probably the top limit what I normally pay and I definitely overpaid because there's a lot of work um, there's some veneer cracked or missing so yeah I've got my work cut out for me I'm going to see whether I'm able to scrape the varnish off because sometimes it's very difficult so I might need to sand it but I'll have a go if I can scrape it off I'll do that if not I'll probably use my sander Just found another problem so can you guys see the holes there was a piece attached to the top of it which i don't have and i was originally thinking about just cutting this off but because the way it's constructed i won't be able to do it because i would cut into this so i need to come up with a different plan and fill the holes somehow This glue probably isn't necessary because it's gonna be it's gonna sit there really tightly but see this is what I was talking about that easy It looks like this is actually solid oak, it isn't plywood, so the piece of wood that I have should match this very closely and hopefully it will look good when I'm done with it. I don't have calipers, so I'm just gonna use my ruler and I will measure this gap and try to get as close of a match as possible. Keep in mind I'm not a woodworker, this is just a hobby and I'm brand new to using a table so so this might be a little bit of a challenge, but I'll give it my best go. All right, so I've made the I've made the cut. It was a bit dodgy, probably not the safest one, but I couldn't think of anything else to do, and I actually screwed this piece of wood to the bit that I was cutting just to kind of help me guide it and keep my fingers away from the blade but yeah don't recommend that it did work though so let's see if this will fit so here's the piece it's a little bit too thick but i did it on purpose because it's easier to send this down than add if you don't have enough it should be just about right i'll also cut this in half so i can use it for the other side I think with a little persuasion from a hammer, it will fit. 
the moment of truth. See if this works. And I put a little bit of glue just so it doesn't go anywhere. But I, I would imagine it's, it will be quite a tight fit, so. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed with myself. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little more glue and some sawdust to help them blend this in and then do some sanding. There are more issues with this piece the more I look at it. So, as I've said before, this bit around is missing so I'm in the process of making it and I hope I can manage otherwise I'll need to come up with plan B I'm gonna take the hardware off and I will clean it up because this is solid brass so this should clean up beautifully and I really like this hardware so definitely keeping this I think the drawer stoppers need addressing there were two in here and I see someone made one it's a bit wobbly so I might need to fix that as well I'm not gonna keep this we'll need to refresh the inside of the drawers very professional job as you can see sand this down and see what it looks like and if it's good enough I'll leave it like that if not I might need to put a veneer out on top of it so let's see so obviously I need to finish sanding this but and there's some tiny holes that I need to fill in with some sawdust and glue but it looks really really good i'm very happy with this so i think this repair is gonna look very good and you'll be hardly able to tell that there was um, a hole in here I'm going to take these hinges off, clean them up and see if I can make them look nicer. I don't know if this is actually brass, it doesn't look like brass, but I'm sure I'm gonna make them look a bit better than they are looking now. As you can see, there's supposed to be two door stoppers and someone just put one, it was actually not even well attached so I'm gonna take this off and replace the two otherwise the drawer kind of wobbles because it's only supported in the middle just a little bit of sanding so the glue can grab hold of the wood a bit better to clean the hardware now so this is brass which should clean up very nicely not sure if this is brass might be but we'll find out 
So I'm going to put everything in the container. And I'm using this quick shine brass and copper bath. I just put one of these in the container, add some hot water, and leave it for five minutes. I'll probably leave it for like 10. Obviously, you'll just need to clean it a little bit once it's finished. And if it needs a little more cleaning or polishing, I'm just going to use Barkeeper's Friend. This is super good, but this is just easier and quicker. And you can already see, literally in seconds, that it's changing color. I'll use some of the, the Barkeeper's Friend. Here's a before and after hinge, so yeah, I've been able to clean them up nicely. As you can see, there is a lot of damage to this veneer. Not only there are cracks, the veneer is not attached to the substrate. So, we get two options. Replace the whole thing, which is gonna be a bit tricky. Or glue this down and fill the gaps with some sawdust and see what it looks like. If it looks good enough, I might keep it. If not, I might need to replace this whole panel. But here's the plan. I'm going to put some glue in the syringe. I'm going to use this syringe with the needle to inject some glue underneath and glue this down. So I'm going to fix this loose top. I think it's screwed from the bottom or from the inside. So I'm going to use this piece of wood <clears throat> and glue it here. That should do. See the back is in a pretty rough shape, it's really old and I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit with 120 grit. So this is the piece I glued in the back to strengthen the top because it was a bit loose and I'm just going to put a pilot hole through it and a couple of screws.
It's pretty much the same situation on the other side. This is really loose, so I need to glue it up. I'm sure you can see this, but this is another corner that's a bit wobbly. So my plan for this is to put some glue in there and just clamp it together. So I don't want to send this to a point that it looks brand new because I just don't think it's suitable for this piece because obviously this buffet is very old and I actually really like it. It's just that the varnish is crumbling and yeah, it just needs to come off. But also I just want to update it and give it a more modern look. So by making this look cleaner and fresher, but not brand new, I think that's the best I can do for this piece to update it, but at the same time, keep the vintage look and just do it justice. from woodworms um, the guy I bought it from said that this was treated prior to the purchase don't know if I can trust him or not but regardless I will need to address these holes so I'm gonna mix some sodas and wood glue and um, fill the holes so this is pretty simple I'm just gonna put some glue on a piece of wood and I'm going to mix in some dust from my Sander. As you can see, this is the repair, and I'm thinking that I'll be able to leave it actually. I might try to fill it in a bit more, but it actually looks quite okay. So I'll finish sanding, and I think this will be good enough to just leave it as it is without replacing the veneer. This is the door that had all the veneer messed up, and I'm actually quite shocked how well it turned out. So, this is where the holes or the cracks were. This pretty much looks like it's just a natural feature of this veneer. So yeah, I'm very happy that I didn't have to replace this whole veneer because that would have been a lot of work. And I think this just adds to the character because this veneer already has lots of um, lines like this. These are just a bit bigger. I'm gonna let these dry and now I'm going to tape off all the bits that I don't want to get the stain on. So I have no idea who came up with the design for this shelf but this just isn't wide enough to support it. I'm gonna have to add something and let out this piece of wood which is exactly the same color and a little bit here and because there's no way to clamp this 
I'm going to use this super glue which comes with an activator. I'll be using this No Paint Gel Stay by Dixie Bell in color Walnut because it matches the inside of this buffet and I'm just going to use a microfiber cloth to apply it You literally just rub it on I'm probably gonna do the whole inside just to refresh it I'll make it a bit easier for myself and I'll tape at least some parts off. So this one's bottom is a bit rough so I'm gonna fix this. Okay, now I'm just going to stain the back legs. And now it's time to wax the bottom. It's the next morning and I'm just doing finishing touches, waxing the inside as well because the dye has dried. I'm going to put this together and wax the top.